Great news for all developers who are using a coin dependency injection library. A new plugin just came out and is gonna make our lives so much easier. Coin Dependency Injection Library is one of the most simplest ones that I have used so far. And I have used a Dagger Hilt library for a while when I was developing applications for an Android platform only. But now that I'm a Kotlin multi platform developer building applications for both Android and iOS, Coin Dependency Injection Library became my choice number one. So recently they have announced the first version of their plugin. That initial plugin version have two main features right now, but they are planning to add more in the future. So the first one is a configuration tree, and the second one is a contextual navigation. So configuration tree is basically a view that can help us to visualize our coin configuration, including modules, components, and dependencies for each app. This configuration tree is also useful because it shows platform-specific modules separately. Now, the contextual navigation on the other hand is basically the navigation between components and their configuration details, including dependencies. I cannot describe how much this actually helps me to avoid searching through different source sets manually, and it also allows us to navigate to a specific component or dependency in our project with just one click, which saves a ton of time. Alright, so enough introduction. Let me show you how you can install, configure and use this plugin. At the time of recording this video, I'm not sure if you are able to see this plugin in the plugin marketplace of your ID, because it might be hidden away. However, if you are seeing it, then just click that download button and install it. Otherwise, if you don't see this plugin right here, uh, then you need to visit the official JetBrains marketplace website and uh, search for a coin dependency injection plugin. From there, just click the download button to download the zip file. To install this uh, plugin manually, you need to open up the plugin section of the settings. And from there, you will see one uh, options icon on the top. From there, click that icon and choose an option to install the plugin from the disk. Then, just select that zip file that we have downloaded and you're good to go. Plus, you might be required to actually restart your ID afterwards. So after you restart your ID, then you should be able to see that uh, coin icon on the right side. So now I'm going to quickly show you how we can use that configuration tree and navigate between our coin modules. So as you can see here on the right side, we can open up this coin configuration. From there, I will see all those coin modules that I have declared in this demo project. So uh, we can basically select one of those directories from here and then that specific module will be opened up here immediately. Uh, so right now in this project, uh, I have uh, three modules. So shared module, which is shared between uh, different um, uh, platforms in this uh, project. Then we have a target module for the uh, Android platform and a target module for the iOS platform. So the main difference between those uh, two modules is that uh, the Android one contains the context, right? So as you can see, when we open up, we can uh, check out the different kind of uh, classes and their dependencies. And mostly for the Android platform, we do need that uh, Android context to use some of the functionalities from the Android platform, right? As you can see, when we press, for example, this uh, home view model, uh, we're going to open up that uh, coin module or a shared module, and it will lead us directly to that uh, specific declaration. Here we also have the local database um, dependency, and we can also uh, click this little drop-down icon to check out and see what kind of a dependency uh, is needed for this uh, local database. In this case, that's the database driver factory, right? So we can also check that uh, driver factory uh, for each one of those uh, target modules. And as you can see, for the Android target, we have that specific uh, uh, Android database driver factory, which requires the context. And on the other hand, we have the iOS um, uh, platform as well. So here we have that uh, driver factory, which was created for the iOS platform specifically without the Android context, of course. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's so much uh, fun to just uh, go around and uh, check out all those uh, modules and their dependencies. Anyhow, this uh, plugin is uh, still in a development. So we're going to see what kind of uh, features uh, we're going to get. But nevertheless, this uh, coin configuration is uh, really helpful for me because uh, I don't need to go uh, in my project and manually search for uh, each one of those uh, components and modules. I can just open up this uh, panel from the right side and with one click I can navigate whatever I want. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, drop a like if you find this video helpful, and of course, thank you for watching.